Chosen was where you were, where you were, where you were, where you were, where you were. Chosen was back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great. Someone is so disturbed and worried. All because you are not a doubter, but you are a believer. Oh, yes. And this is worrying the person. In fact, disturbing the person. You see, this person is the cause of your disappointment, of injustice. This person is the cause of whatever setback. This person, I mean, has caused a whole lot of harm than good. But now, no amount of disappointment, of heartbreaks, of rejection, of hate, of pain, of whatever that they cause you can stop you. No amount of hate can stop you. Oh yes, chosen one. They've realized this. And as they realize that, no, whatever they are doing cannot destroy you. Cannot destroy you because God said no weapon formed against you will prosper and no tongue rise up against you in accusation will succeed. They are worried because their efforts has all proved abortive. Their effort to destroy you has come to nothing. Oh yes, it is not working. It is not holding. It is just like they are pouring water on stone oh yes it is not standing it is not holding yes they are doing all these things to make sure you as a chosen one you will start to doubt your god you will start to not believe in your god but no that is not you you continue to believe in God because you as a chosen one you know and understand that belief is everything God said if only you believe is going to be done unto you and you as a chosen one you are well aware aware of this that mm, your belief is important so you don't trade your belief for any other thing you continue to believe in god you continue to believe the word of god because you know that the word of god is the very life of god is god himself oh yes you understand that and you keep remembering god keeping god taking god by his promise because you know that your god is so faithful yes just someone you believe that your god is faithful and nothing can stop you from believing in your god and this is getting your haters your enemies your critics those that are the root cause of your problems your difficulties your challenges in life they are disturbed so right now i'm telling you Oh, yes, just someone. They are worried. Because you are not giving in. No matter the deceptive, evil, secret agendas against your life. You never fall prey to whatever scheme. You keep rising above whatever trap they keep setting for you. Oh, yes, just someone. I'm here to tell you that you got to continue to believe in God most high because your belief is the most important thing. Oh yes, just someone. When you take God by his ways, when you keep God in remembrance of his ways, God, you said, I will lend and not borrow. I am the head and not the tail. I am an achiever and not a failure. You said you will prosper the works of my hands and I will succeed in this life and no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. God, whatever that you said concerning my life, 
I believe. Oh yes, I believe. And because you believe, it is happening for you. Oh yes, chosen one. Continue to believe. Don't doubt. No matter what. The enemy takes delight in inflicting the chosen ones, the children of God. The enemy takes delight in doing that because the enemy wants to throw you out of your position. The enemy doesn't want you to keep on confess, confessing the word of God for your life and keep on believing in God. So the enemy will sometimes bring things your way. And, you know, these things are to make you to be discouraged, to doubt, to give up. Never ever give up, chosen one. Continue to believe in God. Because when you believe in God, you believe in the word of God, that activate the power of God to work on your behalf. And I tell you, indeed, you have been given power to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all powers of the enemy and nothing by enemies is going to harm you. Oh yes, they're trying to harm you. They're trying to destroy you. They're trying ways and means. But it is not working. And that gets them worried. That gets them frustrated and disturbed. Oh yes. Because God is on your side. God is on the throne. Chosen one, continue to believe. Believe and believe and believe and believe and believe again. Because believe is everything. God said, if only you believe. It will be done unto you. All the great heroes in the Bible, all that received from God in the Bible, they all believe. Oh yes, they believe. Blind back meals believe. The man at the pool of Bethesda believe. The centurion believed, right? The centurion believed to the extent that he said, Lord, you don't need to go to my home. For I am a soldier and I command my followers, go here and they go, do this and they do, stand here and they stand. Lord, just speak a word and I know it's going to be made happen. That is belief. He believed. And truly, Jesus just spoke a word and it was made happen. It happened. It's all about belief. If you believe, you can achieve anything. Whatever idea God has put in your heart, it is all about you believing. Whatever that God has put in your mind, it is all about believing. If you believe you can, you can. I'm telling you. So stop saying, I can't. I can't pay my debt. And rather, start to believe because there is power in belief. God is saying to you, that you will lend and not borrow. Maybe on the natural, you are in a debt right now. If you believe that mm, this debt is going to be paid, you will pay it. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Maybe you are single right now. If you believe that the right partner is in your future, and you are for sure going to marry if you believe it is going to be done unto you. Maybe your medical report right now is showing that you are sick. And it feels like it is impossible. Doctor said no, it is impossible. 
I'm telling you, if you believe that God is the healer and Jesus is the solution to all fundamental issues of life, you are going to be healed. That is his promise. He said, let the sick say, I am healed. God, you said, when I'm sick, then I'm healed. I believe. God, you said, when I'm weak, then I'm strong. I believe. And it will happen. God, you said, when I'm poor, I'm blessed. God, I believe. God, you said you will lead me and direct me. Lord, I believe. God, you said you are my shepherd and I will not want. God, I believe. Maybe you're going through a situation right now and it feels like you're wanting something. It's not happening. God is telling you, he is your shepherd and you will not want anything. He's saying to you, he said to you that his mercy and favor will pursue you all the days of your life. All you got to do is to believe. He said to you that ye though you walk through the valleys of shadows of death, fear no evil. God, I believe. All you got to do is you believe. I'm telling you. Ezekiel was told that these dry bones are going to rise again. And because Ezekiel believed, he began to prophesy and the dry bone stood up, rise again. The dry bones rose up. That is the power of belief. If you believe, it is for sure going to happen for you. Job believe. Job believed that no matter what, these two will pass and for sure it happened and everything lost has been restored. God, you said you will restore to me all that the locust has destroyed. You will restore unto me all that has been stolen. Lord, I believe. God, I believe. I believe there is power in belief. That three words, Lord, I believe, is very powerful. I'm telling you, it is very, very powerful. Don't joke with your belief. There are a whole lot of things going on the media to I mean, get into your mind to make you focus on the detractions, on the limiting beliefs. But you need to be ye separate and believe in whatever God has said concerning your life, concerning your husband, concerning your wife, concerning your children, concerning whatever your finances, your head, whatever that has to do with you. Don't joke with your belief. Do you know that if you are thinking of sickness, of a particular sickness, you're thinking of it over time, over and over and over again, it happens. If you are thinking of something over and over and over and over again, it happens. That is the power of belief. That is telling you the power of your belief. Right? Believe is a mindset. What sort of mindset are you holding? Are you holding 
this victorious mindset are you having the mindset of victor the mindset of a warrior the mindset of a conqueror are you having the mindset of an achiever the mindset of success or the mindset of failure don't waste your energy don't waste your spirit don't waste your strength your power doubting the ability of what god can do in your life believe just believe believe is everything if you believe that's it you will conceive it it is going to happen if you believe if you believe you are a winner you are going to be a winner and one thing about belief is that because it's a mindset kind of thing when you believe something and you keep thinking about it for so long a time you will not just say it but that will propel you to take an action that makes things to happen that is the power of belief believe you coming out of that depth believe if you are single you're going to marry believe if you are barren god is going to make you fruitful believe if you are sick you're going to be healed believe if you are poor you are going to be blessed good breaks are in your future good breaks are coming the breakthrough is coming just believe believe you are here to conquer and not here to bow believe you are a soldier in the army of the lord believe you are chosen and not forsaken believe you are a child of god believe in your father's house there are many mansions believe that god is going to bless you bless your household believe god is going to change your children believe god is going to change your husband believe god is going to change your wife believe god is going to restore heal deliver bless believe god is going to save you god is your savior believe just believe chosen one and i'm telling you it is going to be a done deal believe lord i believe lord i believe lord i believe help me overcome my own belief oh lord i believe lord i believe lord i believe help me overcome my own belief lord i believe believe that is the connection believe in the lord believe in what god said believe in the word of god believe that you are going to be great believe that you are courageous believe that you are fearfully and wonderfully made believe sometimes in life you'll be like paul you say believe believe i believe for so many years but things are still the same continue to keep on believing i'm telling you remember that that scripture that you know jesus resurrect lazarus it feels like it is all over because it takes jesus for this to do that you see sometimes it might feel like you are being delayed and you know it is gone it is poor but i tell you remember what jesus said he said this is not unto death this 
is made possible so that the Lord will be glorified. The Lord will glorify himself in your delay. In whatever situation that you are going through, he will glorify himself. Right? Just keep acknowledging him. Keep him in remembrance of his word. Believe and have a positive mindset that you are going to be whole once again, no matter what you're going through right now. Believe everything is possible with God. Just believe. He is working out the answer behind the sin. It may seem to be delayed. It may seem that, oh, you fasted and pray, you believe all this while. Something great, better is coming. Yes. The more the attacks and the more it, 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 it delays, the heal the blessings, the greater and mighty your destiny. Don't give up someone. Don't give up. And you not giving up. And you not doubting. And believing. Is getting your haters. Your enemies. Your critics. The adversary. Those that are the root cause. Of your problems. Your challenges. Your difficulties. Your disappointments. They are worried. And disturbed. Continue to keep on believing. To keep them worried perpetually. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.